Great Scott, if my calculations are correct, you're currently watching a video of me floating in midair. What an amazing device. Do you want to learn how to make one? Then stick around for this episode of Silly Science with Simon. Thanks, Doc. Hey everyone, what you just saw was the Pepper's Ghost Illusion using some clear plastic in the shape of an upside down pyramid. It looks a bit like a hologram, but it's not actually a hologram. More on that later. This plastic pyramid shows ghostly images that are super cool. My friend Marco from Marcom 3D made this awesome video of a stormtrooper dancing to use for this illusion. He made this video using a program called Blender. Click the link in the description to check out his channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make this plastic pyramid at home and explain how it works. Are you ready? Then let's get science. To make the pyramid, you will need a thin piece of clear plastic. I used a one millimeter thick piece of Perspex that I got from a large picture frame. You can also use the cover of a CD case or pretty much any type of plastic that's clear and has a reflective surface. Just make sure it's super thin and holds its shape fairly well. You'll also need a Stanley knife, a ruler, painter's tape, a hot glue gun or clear tape, safety glasses, and an adult to help you. The pyramid is made from four equal shapes known as trapezoids. The long side of the trapezoid needs to be the same width as your phone. So that's seven centimeters for me. And the short side will be one centimeter. The height of the trapezoid is equal to the width of your phone minus one centimeter, all divided by the square root of two. This height will make each piece of plastic sit at a 45 degree angle to the screen thanks to a little bit of high school maths. Add some painter's tape to both sides of the perspex and draw four trapezoids with the measurements you worked out earlier. Next, ask an adult to cut these shapes out, making sure they wear safety glasses. Running the knife along each edge 10 to 15 times gave a nice clean cut. If you have a thicker piece of perspex, it may take a while to cut through. But after running your knife over it 10 or so times, you should be able to hold it over the edge of a table and snap it off. The safety glasses will protect your eyes if a piece flies off. Once you've cut out the four trapezoids, it's time to glue them together. Take the tape off one side of the perspex and use some more tape to hold the four pieces in place like this. Ask an adult to glue along the inside joins with a hot glue gun. Try to do this as neatly as possible. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use clear tape instead. It just won't be as strong. No, oh, no. Remove the rest of the painter's tape and you're done. To use your pyramid, click on the link in the description to play the Pepper's Ghost Illusion video. Turn up the brightness on your phone and place it on a flat surface and the pyramid in the middle of the screen. Bend down until you can't see the phone screen anymore and then watch the ghostly images on your pyramid. Whoa! My camera is capturing exactly what you'll see in real life. It's that cool. So how does this work? Well, the screens on our smartphones emit light. This light travels from the screen to our eyes and we see the image on the phone. If we put the smartphone on a flat surface and look over the top, we can't see the image anymore because the light no longer reaches our eyes. But if you place a mirror at a 45 degree angle above the screen, it reflects the light and you're able to see the image again. Just like a mirror, the plastic reflects the light from the screen into our eyes, allowing us to see the image. Light from the rest of the room can also pass through the plastic. So we see both the reflected image and the rest of the room. The result is a ghostly image appearing in midair. This is different to holograms. Check out the video linked in the description to learn exactly how holograms work. Once you've made this pyramid for yourself, click on the link in the description to use it to watch an awesome video made by Marco. As always, thanks for watching this episode of Silly Science with Simon. End transmission.